See, stress is God's way of training you. But what most people do is, see, once you get stressed, you don't want that no more. So now you give up, you thoo. Nobody likes stress. But in order to develop and to change and to grow, stress is necessary. A seed got to have dirt put on top of it. But guess what? In my mind, it doesn't make sense that to grow something, you should dig a hole and cover it with dirt. But oh, though, see, dirt is necessary. Dirt builds character. Dirt gives you the push through factor. And dirt ain't always what you want. It's somebody talking about you down on your job. It's somebody accusing you of something that you didn't do. It's somebody sharing information about you that ain't true. But see, when you're getting put under that stress, see, that dirt builds character in you. When they're talking about you, it teaches you to withstand it. When people are talking about you, dogging you, stealing from you, talking about you, they're actually putting nutrients in you. They're building character. You got character now. Because now the seed sprout open and start coming through the dirt. See, you want to be successful, well, then you got to prove yourself. You got to push through the dirt. You got to come out, then you sprout, then you become a tree. Next thing you know, you got fruit. So when you under stress, take the stress for what it is. Stress is an indicator. It lets you know you're at your limits. It does not mean that you cannot do it, but it does mean you have to change something. You have to change structure or strategy. And the one thing that you can count on is there will always be change. Whether it is good change or bad change, there will always be change. And generally there will be both. But you learn as much from your failures as you do from your successes. I think one of the most difficult things that can happen to people in leadership is to step into leadership that you didn't grow and that you didn't groom because you don't know where the issues are. We often, when we select leaders or we want to evaluate people or we want to choose staff, we quickly want to know about their IQ because we we're, we're trying to find out in a nice way, are you smart? The second thing that we really need to be asking is your EQ. <laughs> I'm talking about your emotional quotient because many, many times you can have people on your team and on your side who have the intellectual ability to do what you're trying to get them to do, but they do not have the emotional wherewithal and you don't know it till you get on the ride. It's like me. You know, I, I think I look like a fairly strong, macho guy, and I am, until you put me on a ride on Six Flags. I mean, I turned into a little five-year-old girl in the ride. I, I'm not good on the ride. I'm good going up. It's the going down that drives me crazy. What you want to know is, can you handle the down ride? Do you have the emotional maturity to go through the highs and the lows of what it takes to be successful. Because if you're going to be successful, you learn from the lows how to ride on the highs. So if you can't take the dip, you can't take the climb. Not lose your head, not freak out, even though you want to. You can do it on the inside, but on the outside, you have to maintain your cool. Because there is nothing as frightening as a frightened leader. I don't know anything about flying a plane, but this is how I evaluate the trouble on the plane. I've gotten used to the turbulence, I've flown all over the world, and I don't get nervous until the people up front get nervous. If you have somebody conveying a message with panic and terror, you just start freaking out. <laughs> That's what happens when you hire somebody who has the IQ but doesn't have the EQ to handle the ride, who freaks under pressure, and they just fall apart under pressure. But here's the thing that is most important, and there is no test for it. Their AQ. AQ is your adaptability quotient. How do you respond to change? When you hire somebody or you move into a position or you open up a company or you start a business, it's a lot like getting married. I know she looks beautiful today and everything is wonderful and he's smelling good. He just came from the barbershop. Everything's just great today. But do you? Take this woman, to have and to hold, for better 
or for worse, in sickness and in health. But you're saying I do to something that you've never seen. I could deal with you sick, but I didn't know you got hateful when you got sick. I didn't know that when we get broke, you're going to freak and panic and move out and go back to your mother, for better or for worse. And so I'm saying I do to some blank circumstances and I'll spend the next 20 years trying to figure out, do I? And that's a lot like going into business and that's a lot like being successful and that's a lot like hiring people. You kind of get some kind of flow and we say, do you? And they say, I do. And then you hire them and then you think, do you? And let me tell you, I'm not sure which is the most challenging, the ride up or the ride down. Because success can be just as daunting as failure is. If you can't adapt quickly enough to it, you will lose it. A blessing isn't a blessing if you can't handle it. We all love to be blessed, our business taking off. We meet the person of our dreams. But here's the key, the blessing doesn't come by itself. But with that blessing is going to come opposition, criticism, people that are not for you. The question is not so much, can you handle the blessing? The question is, can you handle the persecution? All your friends won't be happy when you get that promotion, when your business increases, when you get engaged. Don't get upset. It's not about you. It's about the blessing on your life. If you can handle the persecution, then God can trust you with the blessing. You could be praying to win something that you can't handle if you get it. What you need as a leader and as a thinker is not just the success to get there, but the success to stay there, sustainability. How many of you have ever seen a dog chase a car? And maybe the dog gets lucky and catches a car in a red light or something like that, but there's one thing that the dog never considered. I can't drive. You might be chasing after something that you can't run. It's not just about getting there, it's sustainability after you get there. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna get it. I don't care what comes in my way. Boom, 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 boom. See, you do that to make faces in the mirror, get yourself ready, go get it, get it, get it. But can you run it after you get it? So, so the whole issue, the only thing that should be stable in your ride to success is you. And if you're not a person who can be stable in the ride, you shouldn't get in the car. So what do you do when it's bad news? The best thing to do with bad news is to deliver a clear message. Clear messaging creates clear expectation, which avoids disappointment. It is not what happens to you that matters, it is how you handle it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because things happen to you in life. And many times when those things happen, you want to give up. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it gets in a knot. The last 6,000 years reads like this, opportunity mixed with difficulty. It isn't gonna change. But like I always say, life is 10% what happens to you, it's 90% what you do about it. And the reason is because what happens happens to about everybody. And I found out that the same things can happen to two different people, one gets rich and one stays poor. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens, it's what you do. I've fallen out of the sky so many times. But it's not the happenings, it's what you do about it. I used to blame the weather and I discovered it rains on the rich. The only way it gets better for you is when you get better. Starting tomorrow, what are you going to do that'll make a change in your life's direction? It's choice time, you can do whatever you want. But it's nice to know any day you wish you can change your whole life.